Good morning, boys and girls. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Do you know what day is today? Today is Tuesday, June 2nd, 2020. We will work with superlatives. So, let's learn some writing rules. Learn comparative and superlative endings. When a word has one syllable, we add ER or EST. In this case, today we are going to work with superlatives. We are going to add EST to the adjective. Let's see the, some examples. Small, smaller, smallest. When a word has more than one syllable and ends in Y, we drop the Y and add I-E-R or I-E-S-T. We have an example. Heavy. It ends in Y. We drop Y and I and add I E R. Heavy, heavier. Heaviest. Look. Okay, pay attention in these writing rules because we are going to work in our workbook. We are going to work with superlatives. Let's work in our workbook, my kids. Open your workbook on page 141. Okay, write the date at the top of the page. Remember, today is Tuesday, June 2nd, 2020. Okay, look at the picture. Answer the questions. Number one. Is Abdul the tallest? Look, Abdul. No, he isn't. Number two. Is Jose the shortest? Look at Jose. Is Jose the shortest? Write your short answer, my kids. Yes, he is. Number three. Look at the picture. Is Jake's cat the biggest? Remember, Jake, Jose, and Abdul. Is Jake's cat the biggest? Write your answer. No, it isn't. Number four. Look at the picture again. Is Abdul's cat the biggest? Yes. It is. Number five. Look at the balls, my kids. Is Jose's ball the heaviest?
this it is look at Jake Jose and Abdul is Jake's ball the lightest No. Uh -oh. Uh oh, what happened? Okay, go on with the exercise. Is Jake's ball the lightest? What's your answer, my kids? What do you think? No. Hi, my kids, I don't know what is happening with me today. No, it isn't. As you can see, we are working with contractions. Isn't. And isn't. Okay. Answer the questions. You are going to answer the questions and you are and we are going to check them in our class. Are you the tallest in your class? Yes, I am, or no, I am not. Are you the oldest in your family? What's the biggest toy in your room? Number four, what's the lightest thing in your backpack? Okay, please answer the questions. We are going to check your answers in our class. In our class, I told you that you are going to make a forces poster for Friday. Here is the way you are going to do it. Project, make a forces poster. Write sentences about things that are easy and hard to push and pull. Easy to push and pull, hard to push and pull. Find or draw pictures. Only three examples, my kids. Three examples for easy to push and pull and three examples for hard to push and pull. Don't forget to write the sentences. Like the example, the hat is easy to pull on my head. The wagon is hard to pull. Only three examples, okay? Remember, this activity is for Friday. You are going to tell us about your poster, my kids. In our class, I told you too that you are going to spell the words, the spelling words. So, let's practice them. Basketball. B A S K E T B A double L basketball soccer S O double C E R soccer baseball B a S E B A double L baseball hockey H O C K E Y hockey tennis 
T E double N I S tennis golf G O L F golf Okay now I'll, we are going to think two brother goats Okay stand up everybody you don't need your book you can read here T1 grammar in use D listen and sing along two brother goats <laughs> Two brother goats lived high in the mountains Was the best Each goat tried to shout the loudest Louder of the rest Yoda lie, Yoda lie He shouted one brother you don't like he food or the light he food shout the other It's no time the loudest goat shout one brother I'm the loudest goat you're the quietest goat shout the other my kids, practice your spelling words with movement. Do you remember? For A, you are going to clap. For E, shake. For I, turn around. For O, raise your hands. And for you, jump. Do you want to remember how to do it? Okay, let's spell baseball. Ready? B A S E B A double L. Soccer. S O double C E R. Try hard, my kids. It will be fun. Try hard. Okay, my kids, our class is over. See you later. Please don't forget your student book, grammar book, word book, and of course your pencil case. See you later, my kids. Remember, I love you. Bye bye.